Hello, viewers of Mr. Who Views. And I view you go sevens, episode sixty seven. I have to say, uh, yeah, mostly turned out the way I thought it would with, not to say, Yuga uh, putting on a, a costume called himself Yuga Man, but everybody else uh, doing the same thing. But I didn't really expect the Goha siblings to put a costume called themselves the Goha alien siblings, <laughs> saying that they had played uh, Luke Man. Into doing that, they're they're bidding or whatever, but still, <laughs> uh, they did. They had to have a Roman's character be a damsel in distress in order to get Luke Man and uh, Yuga Man to duel, didn't they? Maybe they thought that if uh, Luke Man believed that Yuga was a a comrade, he would refuse to continue the duel, but. Uh, yeah, no. I knew it. This was more of a brat than any other times he sh yeah, actually showed up. Over yet, taking that the Yuga man and, and that are taking the along with the Luke man that are taking the Dula seriously. And it's the mocking Yuga saying that the uh, chance or the, the probability of it. Drawn uh, the same card as, card as Luke Man is zero. I just kept on saying zero. I think the, the voice actor for UO does have fun in this episode. That's how much uh, even they given out and, and that. And the crazy eyes and face or faces he makes. Again, damn it, hope have fun with this character. Ugh. And then, uh, um, Roa asks you, uh, uh, cameos, uh, turned out the duel is being uh, shown all across the uh, Goha city. Yeah. And turned out like, uh, Luke Man has a new fusion monster. And not to say, I like, uh, Yuga Man's, uh, Ace Breaker. Looks cool. And is it me or is uh, Yuga Man the uh, Swordsman of a uh, Seventh Star? Both probably a reference to Swordsman of Landstar that uh, Joey used in, in Duel Monsters. I can't remember if he used it before, but. Hmm. Um, yeah, you guys, he absorbs uh, a fallen star to get. A fusion. And I do kind of like uh, how mad a uh, yo gets uh, against the rules. He's going be disqualified or something. But according to uh, rule uh, quadruple six, section six, it's not against rules. Uh, it's, it's just good. Oh, I, wonder, I, couldn't, I didn't know that, that, that Neil. That that said that rule or what? But hopefully it was. I don't know if he as you saw began. And uh, some of his new his new uh, fusion monster, Sam Palamon magician, Mister Knight. And um, yeah, then then, then in turn was pretty good, and his interaction with El uh, Luke Man was as well. And yeah, even at the end, and you have to act like a brat. Just refuse him to defeat. I say he's gonna go to the moon to destroy the rusty robot. Uh, looks like Kaizo uh, falls from the sky whilst I think he was still in the Iron Maiden when he fell. I went, hey, you are better than what the, the pink stuff. I just knew, or I'm just guessing, that it's a uh, Roman's a uh, curry. I just called to say you go uh, ship or whatever to break or just explode, break down, and just fall out. 
Ugh. Anyway, it was two robots saved, and then Luke Man lets you go back into space. And but says you'll like, come back whenever they're in danger. I wonder if this counts as uh, I have to go now, my planet needs me, sort of thing. Hmm. And yeah, Tiger uh, thinks that you go has to resign. But according to the uh, Goha President Drone, he, uh, he can't see he's only president left. But maybe he points out there's a six sibling and he tanks like everybody else does swirl thirty. Uh turns out he's wrong. Yeah, they'll probably pick that up in, in next season. Um yeah, the, a surprise ending with the uh, you you Yuga saying that you all can be uh, can still be a uh, the call president and his uh, siblings can have their uh, status back. And in return, you go will become a uh, god employee. I'm guessing he wants to uh, make God a better company from the inside. But I just don't know. <laughs> Like what the, what's the whole point of winning the duels if you guys just gonna be a, a god employee? <laughs> yeah, probably uh, so something in the the next arc, whatever. And uh, yeah, I think the uh, duel was good. Like I kind of like the costumes everyone's wearing and some of the names were just good. Ugh. Uh, let's say the fifth arc was uh, decent lots surprises and uh, and just some great uh, moments and just some so good uh, like references to the previous uh, seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh. And I do hope that uh, some of the God Simmons do it again. Like, I think they uh, are using a year on only do it once in the entire season, and year on didn't even uh, lose. Ugh. Uh, I did think they probably have. Could they get them more with their. Maybe explore Yuga's past or something. I think I do think the character or Swirly was uh, pretty interesting. Hopefully, uh, in the next arc or some other arc, they uh, dive into his backstory. And um, oh yeah, you uh, Luke Man was a uh, pretty good as well. He's a laugh right like uh, Luke is. I don't know if Luke was still asleep when uh, Luke Man uh, just released him. Ugh. Don't know. And, um, I do hope that they uh, do a uh, put on those uh, costumes again in another arc. It must be fun to see that, I think. But, ew, don't know. Anyway, this is a good episode and a pretty good arc. I just wonder what the sixth arc is going to be uh, called. Maybe the sixth, seventh arc or something. Or hmm. and um, yeah, next week we be focusing on UO and it looks like you'll be doing Roman. So I'm guessing that this will be the episode where she gets refused and since the end of the episode. Showed a lot of the satellites fallen, and they probably their their key cards probably used for fusion cards or whatever. But aww. anyway, uh, that's it. I'm See you guys later.